Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to take a look at Samsung Galaxy A34 5G. This is a new mid-range phone from Samsung. I bought this phone locally for the price of around 330 euros or the equivalent of 350 US dollars. As you can see here, I have the version with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. The color name is Awesome Lime. Inside of the box we have this SIM ejection tool and inside here we have the usual paperwork and the Type-C cable which is Type-C on both sides for fast charging. Nothing else on the box. And as you can see the back panel reflects the light. Very nice. Here on the back we have a triple camera setup, the LED flashlight. Here on the right side we have the volume buttons and the power button. Here on the bottom we have the speaker, the charging port, Type-C charging port. And the microphone the left side is clean and here on the top we have another microphone and the sim tray let me check the sim tray here we see that we have place for two sims at the same time or one sim and one sd card for expandable storage also we have the rubber surrounding here we have the front facing camera now let's turn on the phone and let me skip through the menu real quick. Okay, so we are on the menu now. We have the toggles here. Same toggles as most of the mid-range phones from Samsung. Let's go to settings, battery and device. We have 8 gigabytes of RAM, but we have the possibility to add another 8 gigabytes of RAM. We can choose from 2, 4, 6 or 8, or we can just turn off this feature. The phone started its life at One UI 5.1, which is based at Android 13. The display of this phone is Super AMOLED 6.6 .6 inches with a resolution of 1080p with a refresh rate of 120Hz, which goes up to 1000 nits. Also, it's worth mentioning that it's the Gorilla Glass 5. The phone comes in three configurations, 6GB of RAM with 128GB of storage, the versions that you see here, 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, and we have the large version with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Now let's open the camera. The main sensor is 48 megapixels. Let's go to video and as we can see, we have 60 frames per second. We can record up to 4K, but 4K is limited to 30 frames per second. Let's check this selfie camera. Selfie camera cannot do 60 frames per second, only 30 frames per second, but it goes up to 4K. While recording on 60 frames per second, Full HD, we can zoom up to 10 times. Let's go to photo. 48 megapixels, we cannot zoom in in this mode. But if we go on 3x4, we can go from 0.5 up to 10x. We have fun, portrait, photo, video and more. Here on more, we see that we have pro 
Pro Video, Single Take, Night, Food, Panorama, Macro, Super Slow Motion, Slow Motion and Hyperlapse. We also have Super Steady Mode, as you can see I've turned it on, but it's limited to Full HD 30 frames per second. The battery of this phone is 5000mAh and it's limited up to 25W wired charging. We don't have wireless charging on this phone. Also, it's worth mentioning that the back of this phone is plastic. It feels good in hand, it feels solid, but still the back panel is plastic. On the camera I mentioned only the main sensor which is 48 megapixels but we have another 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and another 5 megapixel macro camera. On the front facing camera it's 13 megapixels. The chipset on this phone is the MediaTek Dimensity 1080 6 nanometers, which is clocked at 2.6 GHz. The GPU is Mali G68. The phone has a weight of 200 grams, 199 grams to be specific. Now as you can see I don't have any app installed on the phone, just the default apps, Facebook, some Google apps etc. Let me install a few apps and I will come back for a second part. Ok, we are back. As you can see I've installed a few apps and a few games on the phone. Actually Asphalt 9 and PUBG Mobile are heavy games and remember this is a mid-range phone. Now let's open Asphalt 9 and check the phone's performance and see if it will lag or not. Not sure if I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but the phone has stereo speakers and these speakers are loud, are very loud. One speaker here on the bottom and one speaker here on the top. Now let's play the game. As you saw, the gameplay was good. Now let me open PUBG and just check the graphics of the game. I won't do a game on PUBG. On graphics we see that we can play up to HDR, Ultra, but if we go on smooth we have Extreme. So basically we can play 60 FPS PUBG on the A34. Now let's open Subway Surfers and see. No lag, absolutely no type of lag. The gameplay is good. Remember, usually if a phone is bad or it has bad optimization, the phone will lag when Subway Surfers is at the beginning of the game. But as you can see so far, no lag, nothing. 
This is a small game. If the phone can handle Asphalt 9 and PUBG, it can handle as it can handle Subway Surfers and a lot of other small games very good. And remember, the phone has a 5000 mAh of battery and the battery life will be good even when gaming. But remember, never use your phone while it's charging and gaming at the same time. So we don't have nothing to see here actually, the gameplay is good and you won't experience any lag. Now let's test the gorgeous display of the A34 and the speakers. This is the usual video that I test the display. Let's check the video quality we can go let's say up to 4k but we don't have hdr still the video looks good though this is a super amoled display with a resolution of 1080p and is very bright goes up to 1000 nits the viewing angles are very nice Now let's test the speakers. Oh. I can hear the bass, guys. Okay, keep in mind the speaker is right here. I can feel the bass, let's say up here. Yeah, I can feel the bass here. The speaker is very loud. I didn't have doubts actually because this is a gorgeous display and when I read on the specifications that the phone has stereo speakers, I knew that the outcome would be great. This is a great phone to watch videos, to watch movies and to consume media because you might be on let's say photo editing, video editing etc. Now before ending the video, one thing I want to try is the biometrics. Let me add the face and the fingerprint. I will do this in real time so you guys can see. Okay, so fingerprint added and for demonstration purposes only, I only will be using one finger. Okay, so the face is registered, now let's check the biometrics. Okay, the biometrics work, not the fastest in the world, but they get the job done. Nothing to really see more actually, 
This phone is great for the price and this is a phone that I do recommend. The difference between A34 and the A54 is very small because in real life they practically perform the same. The battery life is the same and the only difference between A34 and A54 in my opinion is only the camera. The main sensor on the A34 is 48 megapixels while on the A54 it's 50 megapixels. The selfie camera on the A34 is 13 megapixels, while on the A54 it's 32 megapixels, but the difference is that the A54 can also do 60 frames per second. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you on the next one.